Yeah, I mean, so when I first got involved in the entrepreneur world, I was only 18 years old. Okay. So now you're looking at this D student kid who can't even get a university pass, can't even get into university. Mm -hmm. I got to get a bridging course. Yeah. And all my teachers are telling me, you'll never be get a job. You'll never become successful. How come? Because I'm a D student. Okay. And they categorize you mm -hmm. nowadays with an A. And if you cannot study something and yeah. come back the next day and rewrite it according mm. to society academics you're not smart enough and that's sad mm. that could have taken me out the game that's taking a lot of kids my age and even 18 year old kids out the game <laughs>
what should there be? A and it comes from pain. Oh, pain what, what do you mean? Mm. My parents were separated since I've been two years old. Okay. So I, I came from a lot of pain. Mm. My mom and my dad did not see eye to eye from two years old till like I was 20 odd. Wow. Our very first family holiday, my mom, my dad, my sister, and myself was last year, December. Oh. So sadly, there was a lot of pain. Mm. My dad's businesses started to take a knock. My mom was living off maintenance for years, mm. about $200 a month. Now the sad reality was looking at this and saying, well, if I don't make this thing work. Can I arise from that? Exactly. Mm. And that's where the, the biggest success stories come from, the midst of adversity. You must climb out of you know, the misery, if you yeah. like. A lot of people feel mm. like, hey, if you come from a good background, you're going to become successful automatically. Not necessarily. Exactly. Those people don't sustain success. Um, Sashin, making money as a global salesman, is being a salesman an art? Oh, it's science. It, and and we're not being conceptual yeah. here. Just Without a doubt, examples. real, mm. raw, transparent, mm. and honest. Yeah. And ironically, you bring up that question because everyone in life is selling. Mm. We need to clear that out right now. Mm -hmm. You're either selling yourself on why people should hire you in your job. Mm -hmm. You're either in your company and you're selling mm. other people's products. Okay. Or you're going out there and innovating to create your own product to mm -hmm. sell. So everyone is selling. Be, so, be sold. Or s you, you can sell or sold. Mm. Either one, you can choose. Yes. You can sell or you can be sold <laughs> from other people. Okay, interesting. So sales is a global business. Mm. It's happening daily. In fact, people are being sold right now as we speak to jump on the show. Why? Because our content is going to be that good. Yes. So they're going to be sold by us. Mm. So once again, you're going to understand it's an art because you can learn it. If, if, if it's in your subconscious mind mm. and people are teaching it in your home and speaking about sales on a daily basis, yeah. well, it sinks in. Okay. Or you can be taught. In and ironically... With, with training. Yeah, you mm. can be taught. There's seminars, there's courses, there's mm. online. Mm. Um, ironically, I'm launching a video tonight okay. on my YouTube channel, The Millionaire mm. Student, okay. with the number one salesman in the world. Most people know him as the Wolf of Wall Street. I know him as Jordan Balfour. Okay. And, you know, he's... He's like, sell me this pen. You literally got a few seconds. So the ultimate aim is understanding sales is an art. You can, you can you inherit can it, yes. but you obviously need to innovate daily because there's always new techniques out there. And um, I've been selling all my life. But Sashin is going to be selling better than me. The edge, where does yeah. it come from? Well, very simple. Experience. Mm. Consistency. Mm. I'm doing it over and over and over and over and over and over again for seven years straight. Yeah. I'm doing it in my sleep. If someone becomes a salesman today, well, you're going you're to need a few pillars to making a great salesman. Mm. Number one is you need to be sold on your product before you sell. Understanding your product. Exactly. Mm. Sold. Like, would you sell it for free if you weren't getting paid? Okay. Because if you wouldn't, then you, you, you're making money. You don't people. believe in it. Exactly. Mm. And that's why people won't buy. Mm. They can sense it. Then another pillar is confidence, mm. posture. Mm. And there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Confidence is knowing you're the best mm. and no one's better than you. Okay. Arrogance is thinking you're the best. Thinking versus knowing. You that need to know you have the best product. Does it go with understanding the human being on the other side? It definitely does. How much, how much is that important? It is because you need to know their needs. Mm. You, I mean, I can't sell you a suit that looks like this if you just want elegant, classy, and simple. Yeah. I can sell Conor McGregor this because yeah. this is his style. Mm. But at the end of the day... I need to observe and then execute. Mm. I'm not going to go out there and throw up on you just because I want you to buy because that's where the biggest returns mm -hmm. come back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, specifically, network marketing. Um, what are some of the principles, the key principles? Because here we're talking about networks. Yes. People. What are some of the key principles to bear in mind if one starts to network market? Well, very simple. I like to compare... Network marketing, which is affiliate marketing, mm -hmm. and the corporate world. I like to always compare it because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I don't want to say that either one is better, but I want you to understand it. Well, let's be real. How mm -hmm. many CEOs are in the corporate world? But one or maybe five, but they're splitting 100%. Yeah. How many CEOs are in the network marketing world? Many. Mm -hmm. You can become the CEO. Mm -hmm. Now, most importantly, when I look at it, network marketing is low barrier of entry. Which means, if you fail, so what? Okay. The corporate world, there's no such thing fail. as low barrier of yeah, entry to yeah. buy your own company or create your own company. Finished, yeah. Network marketing, you own your clock, 24 hours in a day. Mm. You can become a full-time mom, full-time dad. Corporate world, you're working 
at least eight hours minimum up to 15 hours a day mm. on average if you own your own company mm. network marketing you need no education self-education yeah if you're a university dropout high school dropout you couldn't make it in life no problem corporate world you need to know people first yeah. then you need to go out and have an education to get in mm. work multiple jobs a day and eventually climb the corporate ladder mm. network marketing today as we speak produces about 180 billion dollars per per annum in revenue okay okay and they've created the most amount of first-time millionaires around the world mm -hmm. the corporate world they'll never ever pay out 180 billion dollars to their staff and rev and, and to the to this you know salaries out there mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. to the employees mm -hmm. so when I look at that I realize well through every economy when a economy hits adversity network marketing companies flourish okay why it's the cheapest model to partner up with mm. corporate companies take a dip with the countries mm. I believe you on the corporate world, yeah, very much. Also depends yeah. on what product you're selling. Technology is key in this space. Networks could be people. Yes. Uh, physical people I know. But technology plays a role. How can I harness technology network marketing to make it really meaningful for me as a player? Yeah, well, cell phones. Mm -hmm. If you have a smartphone and you're not utilizing it, it becomes a dumb phone. Okay. If your smartphones are making you money, it's pointless you even having it. I see people spending $1,500 on the latest Apple iPhone. Mm, people do that. Yeah. And they, they, make, they make queues to buy the newest. They make queues and every two years they're getting an upgrade. Mm. But how much is that phone making you? Is that phone making you money? Is it an asset? Or is it taking money which is a liability? So when I look at that, I realize something. That we have access mm. to a Nokia 3310 or an iPhone. Okay. Either way, both should make you money. Social media, of course, you want to go on smartphones. Yes. But the ultimate aim is there's 8 billion people around the world today outside this room, mm. outside the studio. Face to face, the average human being at 21 years old knows 1,200 people. Okay. Average, mm. 1,200. Re really knows them. Yeah, mm. knows them by face at least. Okay. Yeah. So you bump into 1,200 people on the street, you know them. Yeah. But there's 8 billion people on, around the world, mm. majority on social media. Technology can connect you with the globe. LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anything out there, you can search on Google and you can find who you're looking for. That's why I started one of my biggest businesses right now, social media marketing, okay. RWS. Finish for me the, 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 the link. I have a phone, I'm thinking, I need to make money because I, I watched him say, say that. Yes. I have people I know. How do I make the link? First to know what to sell and then to sell correctly to those people who I may not know very well but I meet them on social media. Yeah, well firstly you don't ever want to reach out to people on social media mm. if you can't direct them somewhere. Okay. So first start your company, register your company. Mm, be legitimate. Yes, be legi legitimate, register your company, mm. so create some sort of an entity in place. Something somebody can believe. 100%. That, uh, mm. Then you go straight to online. And you buy a domain, mm -hmm. and you can buy from AfriHost, GoDaddy, wherever you want to. So domain is important. It's vital mm -hmm. because you don't want to create a name, and it's already taken and by and someone yes. else. Also, they can't find it. Hundred mm. percent. So you got to create something, and then from there onwards, you go create and get an IT team to create the website. Okay. You throw your products on the website, mm -hmm. and now when you reach out to people on social media, you're directing them back to your website. There's somewhere there's somewhere go. they can buy. Mm. I see what you mean. Okay, we are about to finish. Um, there must be dangers in using technology and network marketing. Yeah. What are some of the things I need to look out for? I mean, I might be legit, you might be legit, yes. but then there are illegitimate guys online. Without a doubt. Yeah. And that's the sad part. Today in life, everyone wants to take you for a run for Absolutely. your money. And my parents always taught me in my foundation, you have two hands, mm. one to give and one to receive. Absolutely. And the minute you take with both hands or you give with both hands, you lose. Mm. It needs to be a win-win situation. Mm, mm, mm. So for me, I will never ever do a business deal unless it's a win-win for both of us. I'd rather walk away and you win than me not sleeping at night. Mm. Those people who are robbing people, who are taking money from people, who are screwing people over, yeah, yeah. who are making people cry, they won't be here for long. And I believe they will suffer in due time. Their family will. It all catches up. Mm. What goes up must come down. Come down yeah. So the understanding behind it is, if you're gonna meet someone, meet them at a shopping mall. Okay. If you wanna communicate with someone, Look at their social media and look at three things to know if they're legit. legit. I was about to ask you. Hmm? Yeah. Number one, how many people are following them? Okay. Number two, are their posts adding value? Is it real? Is it consistent? Mm -hmm. Are they putting their face in their posts mm -hmm. or are they going and using memes? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And then the third thing is, are they getting engagement? Are they getting likes and comments? Mm. That's going to determine how credible they are. Number one, number two, how real they really are. Okay. I'll be unfair if I don't ask for a last word without me asking any question from uh, Sachin Govinda, the, the global marketer. Yes, 80% of life, psychological. Okay. 20% is mechanics. Mm -hmm. Meaning, when I watched The Seeker by Rhonda Byrne in 2000 and when I was 18 years old, so about 2012, mm. very first, sorry, when I was eight years old, okay. that's in plus minus 2008. Mm. Um, when I watched, when, when I watched it for the, 2003 in fact, when I watched it for the very first time, well, guess what? The entire movie was focused on 100% psychological mindset. Yeah. So I believe that, hey, if you have the mindset and you don't take action, you mm. can become successful, mm. which is incorrect. You need to have the mindset, stability, zero emotional attachment, long-term thinking, the vision, and then you need to start to execute mm. instantly. Mm. And that's where the AA comes from, absorb and apply. So have the right mindset, be a risk taker, never ever let other people talk you out, Number one reason why people quit is because of other people's opinions. Okay. Stay laser focused. If you're looking for a virtual mentor, go to YouTube, go to Google, search who you want. Okay. I'm a virtual mentor for most people. I filled up stadiums in front of 25,000 people. Mm. And I'm not sitting here and saying, hey, you know, single-handedly I did it because I did it with the team. You have other people. But the key fact is I travel the world. And I mean, two weeks ago, I was hanging out with Akon in Los Angeles. I okay. interviewed him for the Millionaire Student Show. Okay. So I interviewed Akon, Soldier Boy, Rich the Kid, Jordan Balfour, Les Brown, all these different guys. Mm. And I've got many people to interview. So you want to tune into the Millionaire Student Program and the Millionaire Student Show. And it's as simple as go to Facebook, go to Google, type in Sashin Govinder, go to YouTube, type in Sashin Govinder, go to Instagram, retire with Sashin, or even Twitter, retire with Sash. Follow me. Let's keep the contact. But most importantly, yeah. I'm giving you free content because I don't just want your money. I want to make a difference. I want to come together and change Uganda and Africa. It's important for young people. Sachin, my producer says time is up. Sachin uh, Govinda, thank you very much for your insights. We wanted to tap into the man to hear what the man, what makes the man function, so to speak. Thank, thank you, you so, much. so much for having me. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Viewers, you had the man. I can't add anything. Thank you very much for joining us on the link.